Hello, in this video we're going to have a look at connecting test quality to GitHub by creating an integration with one of your GitHub repositories. I've signed up with a uh, test account here, so this is the first page I get to. Um, you may al already be signed up, and in which case you've probably created your first project. I'm going to create mine here. Test project. Um, I could create an, uh, an integration here, but as, as you most likely have already uh, set up your um, your project, I'm going to do it by using the link in the menu. So with your new project, normally you would create a, a test case. So you could create a test case here using this button, or maybe you want to import tests. We don't need a test case uh, to create the integration. So I'm going to just go in and under integrations, I can see here I have either GitHub or Jira. Today we're going to use uh, GitHub and we're going to connect to our uh, GitHub. I'm already signed in to GitHub here and um, I, you do need to be an admin of the repo that you are going to connect to. But once it's been set up with admin access, your users do not need admin access to the repo to use it afterwards. So what I'll do is, first of all, before we start adding these integrations, um, I need to just set up and authorize the test quality app with GitHub. So I'll click the authorize button. And it just connects through to GitHub automatically. And all you have to do is authorize. Like I say, you do need to be an admin. Um, you do need to have admin privileges. And once that's done, it's going to offer me my test project, which is the project that I'm in. Uh, to connect that to GitHub. All I do is click the button. I can choose a project if I want to. If I had more than one, I can do that. I can also, um, if I have uh, different um, sign-ins on my uh, GitHub, different organizations under my account, sorry, and I can select the repository. So I'll just click the repository I want to connect uh, test quality to within GitHub. So this is my GitHub repository here and click Create. That's it. Um, we are connected to GitHub where we've set up the integration. We've set up the integration and we've connected our project to the repository. Um, I can do some modifications here if I want to, depending on which status you want to match from either side of the integration. Um, and if I go back here, I can see that my project has been mapped to the uh, repository that I connected to. If I want to uh, delete that integration, I can come down here and I can click delete. But please bear in mind that if you do delete an integration, it will it will delete all of your defects that you have linked, uh, any defects and requirements that you have linked to GitHub, because it will remove those links. So um, it won't remove them within GitHub, but it will remove the links, so you you won't see them within Test Quality anymore. Uh, let's create a test here. Just create a very simple test. My test. I could add a precondition if I want to. Um, I can add different steps, such as a login with password. I can give an expected result, um, and I can add multiple steps. We're just going to go ahead and create this. So I have my test. It's listed in the all tests list here. Um, I can add that to a cycle, um, but I want to run this test. Now, I don't necessarily uh, want to um, add it to a cycle. I just want to do an ad hoc quick run of this one test. So I can select the test here, and I'll use the command menu to, uh, to send it to a run. Uh, I don't need any of this. It's just going to be sent straight to a run. Now my test is in execution mode. I can see it here. And if I was a tester, I just come in and I can run through the different steps. So log in with password, etc. If I find that there is a um, if I find that there's a problem, maybe I want to fail at this particular step. I'm not going to close the run yet, um, but I may want to log a defect. And because we're connected to GitHub, I can log that defect within 
my uh, repository in GitHub. I can create a new um, issue. Could not log in. Next. And you see it sends across to uh, GitHub the um, information about the test. I can choose different status, priority, etc. Um, let's just select the lowest priority and we'll create that within GitHub. So if I look at my runs and defects here, I can see that this defect has been logged within uh, GitHub. If I click on the defect here, I can see the defect and I can open the defect within GitHub straight from test quality. And you'll see the labels that go in are uh, the, the priority. Um, I've got information here. I can say uh, working on this and a comment. And then when you go back into test quality, straight away you can see the integrations working. And I can do the same from here. Hello from test quality. And also I can do other things such as changing status. Obviously, um, you know what it means to close it, but perhaps I want to say, you know, this is a very high priority. And if I go back into GitHub here, uh, you can see the, the comment has come across and the, the priority has changed to highest. It's worth mentioning in the integrations, if you're going to connect to a private repository, you will need a subscription. And so you can just add a subscription here. If your repository is um, open source and uh, public, then you can use our uh, GitHub open source plan, which is absolutely free. Or you can just add yourself a subscription if you're using a private repository. And before we finish, let's just create a new project and we'll link the integration in the create wizard. So for example, let's call it uh, my project two. And I can select the integration from in here, GitHub, and I'm already logged in, repo2, create. And I can see under my integrations listings, I can see the integrations from here. So you can create an integration once you have that, that mapping, uh, once you have the, the uh, GitHub integration mapped, then adding a project is super easy to either do it from the create project or you can do it from within the menus. And that's it. Thank you very much.